wanted to address something really quick. You know, when I thought this woman was the, the woman that was stalking me, claiming that I looked like Chris Watts, this person had somebody send me a comment in the comment box saying, you're just a manipulator and a liar. She never met you before. I'm her friend. She went on and made a video front and center saying that she never met me before and that I was lying. Now, when somebody made an honest mistake about her, she was front and center in defense mode defending herself. And it really was an honest mistake. It wasn't the person that was stalking me. This is somebody that my mother was telling me about a couple of months ago was claiming Shanann was um, a hologram. She was claiming that Frank Ruzak's wife was a serial killer that was put to death by electric chair in Florida years ago. She's claiming Daniel Bishop is the Ruzak's attorney, and she's claiming I'm Chris Watts. Now, in her warped world, it's okay. It's okay to make very dangerous claims against people with no acknowledgement of what she's doing and how dangerous it really is. It's okay. But the second somebody says something about her that isn't true, she acknowledges it in one-tenth of a second. Now, Daniel Bishop, along with myself, we have two very innocent children at home. Okay? Now, you have people, like the guy that that was so warped in the mind, you know, he was taught and believed that black people were bad, and he went in and shot up a church and killed a shit ton of people. The world is full of psychotic people like that. Okay, when you're, when you're calling yourself a creator, you're not a creator, but you're calling yourself a creator and you're going on to make content, making very dangerous claims to people that have innocent children at their homes, and the world is full of people like this guy that went and shot up a church. You know, it's, it goes way past harmless fun. You know, if you were to actually create content and do like celebrity clones... You know, the government's cloning these celebrities for whatever reason. To me, that's humorous and it's entertaining. When you go on to take shots at people that's never even met you before, never talked about you, never had anything to do with you, it, it screams that you have a serious jealousy of these people. And you are not only looking for attention, but you're looking for attention in ways that you are literally putting people's innocent children in harm's way just to gain attention. I want you to wrap your mind around that. You, what you're doing is extremely irresponsible. Not only does it, not only does it tell the world that, it, that you are, in fact, a whack job that needs to be in a padded room, but you're involving people's innocent, defenseless children in your little warped world. Why don't you go on to create things that that aren't harmful to people's innocent children, like celebrity clones, things of this nature, where you're actually creating content. What you're doing is not creating content. What you're doing is taking sheer jealousy and starvation for attention and spraying it at innocent children. Now, there's two guarantees in life. First guarantee is that one day we're all going to die. And the second guarantee is if you come near my children, you're going to die a lot sooner than nature would have it. I love my children more than I love myself. Anyone that ever had any intentions of coming here, it's a one-way vacation. I promise you. I swear to you. It's not a threat. It's a guarantee with my stamp of approval. It's a guarantee. If you come here, it's a one-way trip. What you're doing is very dangerous. It's very irresponsible. It's not fun. It's not funny. It's not cute. You clearly have the brain of a very, very small child. And you clearly, clearly, like a sadistic, narcissist son of a bitch, you recognize what other people do to you, but you don't recognize the dangers you're putting other people in.
there's a reason I don't say people's names on YouTube. As somebody making videos, whether you have a good following or whether you have just a box full of whack jobs like yourself, or whether you have a box full of dramatic people that just want drama no matter where it comes from, even if it's agreeing with a nut job that that a man who's in prison for murdering his family is sitting right here who looks absolutely nothing like the guy, they'll entertain that because it's, it's drama for them. It, it gives them a reason to to not like something and to hate because these people are just miserable in their own life but what you're doing is way past harmless fun you are endangering people's children if you're able i need you to wrap your mind around that